Welcome back to the channel, everybody, and welcome back for another Revel review. Today, we're going to look at the Dungeons & Dragons War Duck from NECA, or War Duke. <laughs> First, we're going to take a look at the packaging. Got some awesome imaging here in the front. Top there, ages 14 and up. This is the side here, nice image of the figure. Check the other side. Little profile image of the picture there or of the figure here's the back the other figure you can get grim sword nobody seems to be picking up because i'm still finding him but i am not finding this guy anymore and here's the bottom there let's do that barcode close up if you need it open this up there's some pretty imaging right there of this one and of the figure himself inside the plastic casing. Let's uh, get him out of the package and get a better look at him. We have our Dungeons and Dragons War Duke out of the package here. So we're gonna start off by taking a look at his accessories. And to start this off, we're gonna go with the least detailed because we can uh, spend more time on the detailed items. This one right here, good fire detail there. You know, and. This being the least detailed says a lot about this figure because this has good detail as well. This is for his sword. Next up, we're going to take a look at the sword that goes with that flame. So this one here, nice shiny metal. We have the paint going on here as well. And some of that leather wrapping there. It looks like a dragon claw holding onto a sphere at the bottom. Then we have a blade of his here. We have the short curved blade, silver as well. Nice metallic blue for the handle. Has a little small etchings in there along with the rivets. Good at pay attention to detail. And next up, we have the straight sword here. Same thing, silver, metallic, blue, gold, Nice detailing. We're going to take a look at the hands. I guess you could say this is the least detailed would be the hands, but they're still pretty good. So here, you can see all the little veins there. You can see the little, the bones there. Turn it around on the other side. We have some fingernail action going on. All the cut, all the curves in the palm and everything just so great NECA and NECA you are awesome we have the gloved hand as well the armored hand leather metal shiny everything we like last but not least we have his shield and look at this monster that is awesome the wash the sculpt, the attention to detail, it's glorious. And even on the inside, look at that. You have some wash on the leather strap here. You have the metal right here as well. Look at that, it's, just, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. And then we have War Duke himself, this guy, man. You know, I'm not a big Dungeons and Dragons fans. I always like the concept of like fantasy and all that. It, I like it. The idea of it is just awesome to me, but I never got into it. But looking at this guy, you know, so much detail everywhere. You have the blue male metallic right here on the arm, the, the, the gauntlet. It even has the little straps in here all colored and everything, beautiful. You have the veins coming out. You have the muscles. Look at this. It's beautiful, even on the back. Nobody pays attention to the back, right? But no, NECA did not cut you short on this. Look at that detail. The wash, the boots. So beautiful. Yeah, I just, I've never really gotten too much into Dungeons & Dragons. More because I'm intimidated because it's so vast. It's so big. I feel like I would never be able to catch up to know what's going on with it. Look at the detail even on the leather straps here. It's beautiful. I wasn't planning on picking this figure up, but I decided, why not? 
and it is not a pickup that I regret. Next up, we're going to go ahead and get some measurements on this guy, and we will look at him with other lines. So, for measurement, so to the top of the head, we are looking at about seven and a half inches. And then to the very top of the ear of the helmet, it's about at a eight and a quarter inches tall. Well, we're going to look at him with other lines now. First up, we have him with the McFarlane 2 Pack Devastator and Superman, and with the Mo 2 Masters of the Universe Skele God and Mossman. Next, we have him with the Retro Cardback Spider Man Marvel Legends, the G.I. Joe Classified Cobra Officer, Articulated Icons Grey Ninja and Hasbro Lightning Collection White Ranger Ninja. And here we have him with the Marvel Legends Monster Venom, the Jungle Hunter from NECA, the NECA Shadow Shredder, and the 2018 NECA Michael Myers. And here we have him with the SH Figure Arts Goku, the Dragon Stars Cooler, and the Model Kit Super Saiyan God Goku. And finally, we have him here with the McFarlane Mega Figure Swamp Thing, the Storm Collectibles Dark Side, Diamond Select Toys Carnage, and our Fortnite Menace. So, I actually like this figure a whole lot more than what I thought I would. I was hesitant on picking him up, but now I am glad that I picked him up, especially since I can't find him anymore. The only little gripes that I have, and it's not even a big deal to me, is this sword here. The sheath. Whenever you try and put it, the sword in, let me zoom in so you see it better. It's very snug, very tight, so you kind of have to force it in. And it is this blade that goes into this sheath. It fits, but you see how it kind of rubs the paint off? You know, not too, it's not a big deal. It's just, it's a little bit, makes it, it makes it give it a weathering kind of look. I guess you could put it that way, you know? It's a weathered sword now. This side is just, it just flops. His scabbard here just flops. This sword just falls right in, no problem. But in doing so, it falls right back out as well. But again, little gripes, no big deal. The sword itself goes in perfectly fine. So the sword, like I said, goes in perfectly fine. You know, just a single finger, I push it in and it locks in. No problems with it coming out, falling out, no issues. See, it slides, it slides just a little bit, but it's tight enough to hold it. And no issues of paint rubbing off either. So that's an awesome thing. But with this long sword, there is one issue. And that is with its effect. So this sword it has a little pocket there that this one just slides in and it goes all the way through. No problems with it sliding in, going all the way through. It even has a little cup right here where the flame goes around there. Looks great, but pull it out. There is ever so little paint rubbing off there as well, you know, and it's not a big deal. It's just very little, no big issues. I just, you know, I wanted you guys to get know everything that I found on it. You know, just so there's no surprises for you guys. But yeah, I enjoy this figure so much. A lot more than what I thought I was. And I want to thank you guys for tuning in to the video. Tuning in to the review. And you all don't forget... Enjoy the little things in life.